Can, can I say one more thing, Jim? Um, Apparently. It's something that you're a part of, actually, that's become very popular on the Super Podcast, and that is the trials and tribulations of the old lady, Mrs. Spencer. For those of you who don't know exactly what this is, years and years ago, over 20 years now, Dennis Carluzzo tried to call Jim Cornette when he lived in Tennessee, and he misdialed the phone number by one number, and he got a screaming mad old lady who had a lot of problems with the fact that she kept getting asked for Jim. Well, yeah, because then once that her initial reply was so rude, so offensive, so aggressive, that you just knew Dennis had to do something about that. So he gave the number to everybody in the Northeast New Jersey, (laughs) Pennsylvania independent wrestling scene, including at one point the Iron Sheik. That's right. And and they kept asking for Jim with some very interesting results. And she got very upset about this. So we played all the phone calls a while back on the Super Podcast, and they're available on YouTube. You look for old lady phone calls. They're on the Arcadian Vanguard video channel, just like the Jim Cornette audio clips. And we recently introduced some more sound bites into the show, and I just wanted to play them for you, see if they bring back any memories, Jim. Here's a few from old lady Mrs. Spencer. Go to hell, you motherfucking son of a bitch! <laughs> of course, there's uh, not. I'd recognize she was like a second grandmother to me. <laughs> you fuck son of a bitch, you. I hope you die in the next 30 minutes, you motherfucking bastard, you. There are multiple calls where she says, I hope you die in the next 30 minutes. Yeah, because I, I wish death on people, but I've never even given them a time limit. Hey, that, that was a demand. If, the thing is, if you weren't dead in 30 minutes, it was free. Wake up, you stupid jackass. <laughs> that, that should be actually, that should be people's alarm that goes off in the morning. <laughs> they have to go to work. Why do you have you, stupid jackass? Well, the last two I want to play you have become very, very popular on the show. And the first one is one where we don't exactly know what she's saying. This is the way she ends the call, very upset, being asked for Jim once again. So let me play it for you, and I'll tell you what some of the listeners have thought she is saying. <laughs> A lot of people think she may be saying goodbye, fuckhead. What do you think? I'm in the goodbye fuckhead camp. I, I'm 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 thinking it's goodbye fuckhead. And then finally, when it comes down to who she hates, she doesn't necessarily just hate the person calling her. Because of these calls asking for Jim, she now has a sworn enemy. And here's the name of that enemy. Homosexual Jim. The homosexual <laughs> Jim. Homosexual Jim. <laughs> Oh God! And and she can be so calm at sometimes that then suddenly I got my fucking. <laughs> and she says, it's, <laughs> "Yeah, it, it, it's either it's a bad phone or she lives in an oil drum. I'm not sure." But anyway, that's, <clears throat> all right, that's yeah, cheered me back up a little bit to hear my Mrs. Spencer again. 